Hi, this is Ebony, and today we will be exploring the app Tinker. This app uses fun coding puzzles to introduce students to the basics of computer programming. Let's get started with Tinker, and I'm going to tap on the Tinker app. All right, once Tinker loads, the first thing you'll see are the courses here on the dashboard. There are several courses offered by Tinker, but we're going to focus on the first two, Space Cadet and Dragon Spells. These are our free courses, and the other ones are part of the Tinker Premium Package. There are several resources that are built in for teachers within Tinker. We're going to take a look at those first by tapping on that Settings gear in the top left-hand corner. First off, we want to make sure that our app mode is for school and that if students are allowed to publish their projects, we want to hit that check mark there. In courses tab, in the courses tab, here are where you can access the answer keys for each one of the lessons. Here are guides if you want to know more about Tinker, a little bit more about the skills and how they progress throughout each one of the lessons and the courses, and also access to everyone can code by Apple, there are two curriculum guides that also use Tinker within them. The Classroom tab shows you how you can link a drone, specifically the Parrot drone, and use Tinker to code it and program it for classroom use as well. The next icon is that it looks like a little house. This allows you to switch between the two versions, the one for home and the one for school. So we're going to make sure we're on the school version. The lightning bolt is for checking out the different Tinker projects that are in the community. And we're going to talk about that a little later. And this is for signing in and out of Tinker. So let's take a look at the courses. The first one is Space Cadet. And the Space Cadet course is mainly for grades K through 2. These are for primary. There are eight lessons within this course, and it starts off by scaffolding the skills of sequencing and building code through visual blocks for to create simple algorithms. And by the time they get to the eighth lesson, they actually create a simple program. So to give you an idea of what it looks like, in each one of the lessons, there's uh, you have your characters and there's a quest. They have several quests within each lesson to complete. So let's take a look at a quest. So it walks the students through, and you'll see here, these are our visual blocks of code that we just simply drag and drop. Once they complete it, they can see it. They're going to highlight the code. That's a part of that scaffolding within Tinker that walks the students through the program. Now. Once they uh, have completed a quest, they will continuously move through the quest until they make it to the next lesson. A couple of things I want to draw attention to are one, here the star, that's for hints, and then also you can switch between Swift Playground Code and Tinker, which is a part of that everyone can code with Apple. All right, we'll go back to the home page. You'll see Dragon Spells is very similar, the same thing. They have the quests. Um, they start off also with the visual box of code. This is for grades 3 through 5. There are 10 different lessons in here. By the time students finish this one, it's scaffolded to the students to create, actually design their own game by the time they get to lesson 10. At the bottom, you'll see Projects, Workshop, and Community. This is where students can create, start their own simple projects. They can choose any one of these. Um, kits or models to begin with. Workshop, it's the same thing. These are those simple models for students to start with or when building their own projects of code. And then the community projects in this tab is where students can actually see other projects that have been created by others using Tinker. There are several different categories they can choose from. If they find one they like, I can tap, they can tap on it, just like I have. They can actually play it or see the code so that they can actually go in and see how it was created and actually use this code to create their own by giving this person credit. And if you like it, you can tap the heart, you'll like. So once they create projects, 
they can too upload them into the community as well. So as you can see um, with Tinker, it's a wonderful tool to introduce students to those computer programming skills and especially those fundamentals in a fun and engaging way. And it also gives them an opportunity to develop their own projects with what they've learned, which is what we want students to move from consumers to producers. Thank you for watching this tutorial on Tinker. Please be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description.